What's going on guys, hopefully you're having a wonderful day today. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about a trade we took on Tesla, why we took it, how you guys can replicate the process and what ways you guys can find similar patterns to get involved the next time something like this presents itself, all right? So we had a gap down on the entire market today, all right? We had a gap down. Tesla actually had a pretty decently strong close on Friday, but we had a gap down on the name from the seven, sorry, from the 303 level gapping down all the way down to 298, all right? Now, what happened here was interesting. And the reason why this was on my watch list, I have a few handful of stocks that I'm constantly keeping an eye on. And obviously, uh, Apple, Nvidia, Tesla, Netflix, these are names that I always look at every morning. And today, <clears throat> I looked at this one, and I noticed a few things, right? What do we, what can you almost immediately identify here on Tesla? besides the fact that we had a nice gap down. You can really easily identify we have resistant points right here, right? And resistant points right here. So what does this tell us? This tells us that at that 301 level, there's some sort of resistance, some sort of selling pressure. Now, when the market kind of opened, we got this big yank down and buying pressure came in immediately right after that. Right after that big yank down, buying pressure came up, nice strong momentum candle that was forming here is what caused me to buy calls on this thing. I knew that if we came and penetrated this 301 level, we had room to one, fill the overnight gap at least down to, sorry, up to 303.50. And then above that, we had room to 309. Take a look at how beautifully this panned out. So I alerted calls here on Tesla simply because one, I saw this momentum come in. And on the flow side, take a look at the bullish activity that was just being hammered in today um, on Tesla. Lots of bullish activity. It's all just green right on the left on the right side of the tape here. Um, overall, 61% bullish so far on this name. Uh, lots of call flow came in, lots of bullish flow came in. Uh, some of them for shorter term, a lot of them for longer term expiries. But regardless, they were all coming in and most of them were out of the money calls. All right. So because of that, because we knew we had an overnight gap to fill, we had this resistance that kept getting hammered away at it and this pressure early on that happened right here. We got into calls at around 815, um, <clears throat> pushed up pretty nicely here and it ended up hitting highs of around $14. OK, those contracts right there for about a 7 percent move now. Had you missed this move, you know this 303.50 level was another area of resistance. So what happens? Old resistance breaks to the upside, old resistance becomes new support. And you have a beautiful flag that forms right here. And then once that breakout happens, pay attention to the volume. Volume starts coming back in again, right? The volume decreases on the pullback, the volume comes back in on the breakout, and you get a nice push back up here. So had you missed this initial move, if you tell yourself you're not someone who trades the open, great. You had this nice little bull flag that you could take advantage of right here for a next run into that 309. All right. So hopefully you guys did find value in this video. Again, it comes with identifying a gap down, looking at that resistance area that's been given to us in the pre-market. Do we have room to push to the next area? In this case, we did from 301 to 30350 for a nice chunk of move in the options. But ultimately above that, we continue to bull flag and push higher to the 309. So hopefully you guys did find value this in this. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and let me know if you need any other videos made. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.